Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the top 5 best external Blu-ray players. Starting at number 5. Pioneer BDR 290 BK. At first glance, the Pioneer BDR 290 BK is an excellent internal Blu-ray drive. It offers speeds up to X16 and has more than a solid price, just a bit over the LG model and a bit lower than the Asus model. But then you read detailed specs and realize this drive isn't so great. First of all, there's no M-Disc support making this drive uninteresting to everyone looking to create long-term backups on discs. Next, the drive can be used only with dual-layer Blu-ray discs. That means there's no support for triple and quad-layer discs. If it came with Cyberlink Premium Software Suite as its external cousin does, this would be an excellent internal Blu-ray drive for movie aficionados. But without extra goodies, this drive isn't so great. For more information and latest price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. At number 4. Oak Mercury Pro. This is an aftermarket external drive casing equipped with an internal Blu-ray drive. The drive found in the casing is the LG WH16 NS40, which is one of the best Blu-ray drives you can find right now. So, here you're paying for the casing and the time saved for not needing to fit the Blu-ray drive into the shell. The final price is not that more expensive than the combined price of an internal drive and an external casing. When it comes to performance you can expect up to X16 speed both for reading and writing. Further, the drive supports M-Disc standard, as well as up to quad-layer Blu-ray discs. The external shell supports USB 3.0 connection, and it features an attractive design with aluminum being used as the main build material. Overall, this is an excellent external Blu-ray drive. Halfway of my listed number 3. Buffalo BRX L16U3. If you need an external Blu-ray drive for your HTPC setup, check out the Buffalo BRX L16U3. The design is excellent, perfect to place this drive under your TV, right next to your HTPC rig. The performance is superb. Up to X16 read and write, depending on the capacity. The drive officially supports up to quad-layer Blu-ray discs, but some user reviews mention that they can only use discs with capacity up to 50 gigabytes, so your mileage may vary. Also, we didn't find M-Disc support, so this drive may not be the best solution for creating long-term backups. Coming in at number 2. Asus BW16D1XU. If you're looking for the best external Blu-ray drive, check out this one. Yes, it's pretty chunky and heavy, but if portability isn't the most important feature on your list, the Asus BW16D1XU is the best choice on the market. It comes with support for quad-layer Blu-ray drives and supports read and write speeds of up to X16. It also can write the M-Discs, which are excellent for creating backups thanks to their longevity. This drive also has an excellent price. It weighs more than 1 kilo, and its design is a bit aggressive, but this external Blu-ray drive is great at what it does. It can be connected to any computer via the USB 3.0 interface, which is more than fast enough for max Blu-ray transfer speeds. And number 1. Pioneer BDRX-D05B. The BDRX-D05B external Blu-ray drive from Pioneer isn't so bad. First of all, design-wise, this is the best Blu-ray drive on this list. It's thin and lightweight, perfect for use on the go with a laptop. This is the best Blu-ray drive for laptops, since you can carry it with you wherever you go. On the other side, reading and writing speeds aren't so great. At only 6x reading and writing speed, the BDRX D05B is way behind most other modern Blu-ray drives that can achieve up to X16 speed. That doesn't matter since, even for UHD Blu-ray drives, you need X4 speed for the max transfer rate supported, which is about 128 MB per second. Also, it seems that this drive doesn't come with M-Disc support. For more information and latest price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you found it helpful. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below.